Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, which I have prospected from across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Frank Riser space capital M period capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. -E I encourage you to watch my videos on geology and rock and mineral prospecting and get out there into the field yourself and prospect for those beautiful rocks and minerals. You can support my channel on Patreon so that I may be able to buy more materials to which to do fascinating scientific demonstrations with. On Patreon, simply type in my name, Frank Riser M period S period, and I appreciate your financial support. Today's demonstration is on brain cells. What are brain cells? or nervous cells for that matter. A brain cell or nervous cell is called a neuron. Neurons are cells in the body of an animal or human that conduct feelings such as pain and emotions such as happiness and depression within our central nervous system, the brain, the peripheral nervous system being those neural tracts along our bodies that extend to the nerve tips at your fingertips where you feel pain or sensation. All that is information processed by your brain or central nervous system. How are signals processed and transmitted along the neural tracks in the body? A neural track is a pathway along which nerve cells are connected to each other in a long path. The nerve, the nerve cell, transmits an electrical signal of information, either pain or a feeling such as happiness or depression, to the next cell by a voltage potential, a voltage difference. That potential ranges from rest or negative 40 millivolts to a signal or negative 70 millivolts, a 30 millivolt difference. As that signal propagates along the plasma membrane or outer region of the nerve cell, it gets to the synaptic cleft junction or that region between nerve cells where it ends in the axons or long thread-like projections of the nerve cell, the neuron. In the synaptic cleft junction or that region, the chemicals called neurotransmitters are released. The neurotransmitters are chemical messengers that transmit the signal to the next dendrite or long thread-like projection of the receiving neuron and conduct the information or signal of pain or emotion to that next cell. That is how emotions and pain and sensations and signals are transmitted in the nervous system. Neurotransmitters can be altered. Such alterations can occur by medications such as the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors or SSRIs where they cause the axons to reuptake serotonin from the cell synaptic cleft junctions so that your, your mood or depression may elevate to feelings of happiness or no depression. That's a very strange thing when you think about it. How are our emotions processed neurotransmittically? By neurotransmitters, by electrical impulses. The electricity or impulse ends at those synaptic cleft junctions, changes to a chemical transmission in the synaptic cleft junction with neurotransmitters, and then continues with the next cell as an electric potential again. Some neurotransmitters can be altered. One pharmaceutical, such as LSD or lysergic acid diethylamide, can enter into a synaptic cleft junction when taken externally, such as by mouth, and act like a certain neurotransmitter in the synaptic cleft junctions so as to produce a feeling or an emotion or a hallucination with humans and the next cell along that pathway of conveying the signal to the brain. 
and your interpretation center in your brain. That's not fully understood as to how it works. Consciousness, emotions, thoughts, sensations are not thoroughly understood as to where exactly and how they're processed within the central nervous system or your brain. LSD acts like a substitute neurotransmitter. Therefore, it causes hallucinations because it doesn't act like the regular neurotransmitter it's substituting for. Other pharmaceuticals such as dextromethorphan, which is found in over-the-counter cough medicine, can act as a dissociative hallucinogen in higher amounts, also substituting for neurotransmitters and causing hallucinations. Other medications such as ibuprofen, acetaminophen, Percocet, morphine, Demerol, or pain relievers, they can suppress the transmission of pain sensations in the neural tract. Let's take a look at some brain tissue under the microscope. Here we see a slice of the brain under low power or 100 times magnification of a biological microscope. You can make out the cells a little bit but we'll need to flip the high power to see them more with more ability. Notice the dark cells or the dark spheres in each cell. Each of those dark spheres is the nucleus taken up by more of the dye used to stain this tissue. We'll switch to high power and see what we can see. This is high power and we still cannot make out the dendrites and axons. Even with a microbiology microscope at a power of 1,000 times, it's still very difficult to make out the dendrites and axons. We would need an electron microscope to be able to photograph such small features of these neurons. Let's switch back under to low power. And here we are in each nucleus or the dark spots is deoxyribonucleic acid which is the polymerized molecules of adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine the bases of DNA to form the genetic material which is the chemical that allows a cell to reproduce itself in the same form in the next generation of the organism We'll move this slide around and see what else we can see in this brain tissue. You really need an electron microscope to see this clearly. And I encourage you to go to the library, look at brain cells and neurons under the electron microscope, and write to me in the comment section what you saw. You can include in the comment section any different any additional information you feel is important that I left out in this video. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals, always reminding you, in order to find those beautiful rocks and minerals, to keep looking down.